we, me and Betty, we asked to go to a conference in Washington, D.C. again. This time we didn't have no helpers. We gonna go on our own. And we thought we knew where we were going and we thought we had all the information, uh, but we didn't. When we got there, we were under the impression that somebody was picking us up at the airport. Well, when they didn't show up, um, we started getting nervous, but we sit there and we tried to figure out, well, what are we going to do next? And what we decided was that we sit there for about an hour to see if the people would show up, and they never showed up. I had some money on my calling card. I kept on calling all these hotels and stuff and see if they had somebody had this register. Nobody had this register. Um, so then we decided to get a cab and just to go somewhere close to the metro so that we could get on one of the metro trains the next day. Um, we just kept walking until we found a hotel that we thought fit what we needed, so we, um, I had a, at the time I had a credit card, so we used, like, we used my credit card to get a room. Um, and so the next day we got up and tried to call the number that we had for the people that were supposed to pick us up. And they were already gone, so we had to find, um, we had to, they, there were some people, there were still some people there that told us to just go to the metro and to, that we would see people with disabilities on the metro, so to just follow the people with disabilities and we'd find the rally that we were supposed to be at. Well, we did that and we were able to find, at least find the, uh, the the rally that we were supposed to go to. And that uh, and then we got put, got there to, to get our way home, we got booked into a storm, and, and then we had to switch planes and stuff because the plane that was supposed to take us wasn't going to take us home and stuff. But if we didn't know about self evidence and how to do this and stuff, we would know how to book a hotel or how to get to the place we were having the conference and stuff like that. Because we always would pand on our helpers and stuff and our pand on other people to help us. There was nobody there to help us. We had to pand on ourselves. Something that, that uh, nobody thought we could do. And really, we didn't think we could do it ourselves. We thought we were shocked we did it. You know, we, knew, we know that if we hadn't had self-advocacy skills, that we wouldn't have been able to survive that because we were we um, were really scared because we didn't know what to do. We were ready to go back home. We were ready to get back on the plane and go home, but the airport told us we couldn't go home because we had to wait till the next day to get our plane ticket. So we really did have to rely on the skills that we had learned to be able to survive that night. So, I mean, and. W we always tell people that we credit self-advocacy for that because we learn how to rely on ourselves and have confidence in who we are and what we believe in through self-advocacy. Mm -hmm.